All right, guys, day three of the adventure. This is the final day here at the Queen Wilhelmina Park. We're gonna go check out the train, see if the train's running. It was closed yesterday for maintenance, but they said it's supposed to open today. The shop opens at 10 o'clock. They said the train rides are at 10.30. It's about 10.25, so we're gonna go see if we can get on the train. got on the train it's cool I'm sitting in the very back trying to get some good film but it looks like it's gonna be a packed train it's pretty cool guys that's it for the train ride that was actually pretty fun a lot longer than I thought so we're gonna go and grab some ice cream I believe right now and grab a little snack and head back to the campsite we're gonna start cooking and head out a little bit later on today to Ralph's house that was pretty fun how is it is it yummy what flavor did you get again ah. Two thousand years later. All right, guys. So we finally made it out here to Mountain Home, Arkansas, my buddy's house. It took us a good while to get out here. See, we got the RV set up back there already. Got the water and stuff set up. Uh, starting to get everything set up in the house. We're probably going to be sleeping in the house for a little bit uh, because we got here and we had a plug wired up for the RV, and unfortunately, it was wired up for 240 volt, not 120, 30 amp. So it actually fried some things in the RV. So great start to our trip but you know what we're not gonna let it get us down because we're still gonna have some fun guys we're going fishing uh, gonna do all sorts of cool stuff while we're out here gonna go bowling so gotta go to the RV store get some parts get some stuff and then head back here and get this fixed and then start the adventure but we're gonna end the vlog this section right here and we'll start vlog number two eh, right about now all right guys so welcome back to the vlog this morning you can see we're out here Got this gorgeous little river here flowing. Some smoke, some steam floating across the top of it. It's a little chilly out here. It's about 65 degrees this morning. But we're gonna go out and do some trout fishing. You can see back here behind me, my buddy's got his boat way back over there and he's got another buddy, his coming out with a boat. Gonna do a little bit of fishing this morning. A little overcast, which is good because it's been pretty hot and sunny lately. So hopefully the weather holds off and it doesn't rain, but it doesn't get too hot on us. Gonna fish for a good couple hours, try to catch some trout. And then, uh, well, who knows what else we're going to do today, guys. So but let's go get some fishing done.
right guys so we are on the boat on the river heading out going to do some fishing so get some good b-roll get some good fishing scenes and y'all let's go catch some fish Yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for today. Alex is getting a little bit hot and it's getting warm out here, so we're all getting kind of hungry. I think we've got eight fish on board. They've got five fish on board, so we're doing great so far. It's been a blast catching these fish, guys. It's been a lot of fun. All right, so guys, we're back here at the house and we've got something cool going on here. So I've caught and cleaned fish before. The kids have caught fish, but have never cleaned fish, nor have they ever seen fish being cleaned. So gotta check this out, it's pretty cool. Ralph is showing the kids how to cut the fish up. Check it out. You gotta get all the blood out of them if you don't. You'll taste it. Uh, Kylie, that's a bit <laughs> weird. There you go. Got two fillets already. Some good looking fish. <laughs> I'm doing the next, next one. Oh wow. Wow. Huh. Rip fishy. Huh. That's the one thing I'm gonna say. Rip fish, fishy. Oh Kylie, I thought y'all big and bad Nasty. and tough. Don't stick it through and hit your hand. Yeah, when you stick it, you got to get it right in the middle. Just like, yeah, right there. Push it in there. No, push it in there this way. Push it in and hold your hand like that and put it in there like that. There you go. Yeah. Just like that and run it all the way up to his head. Stick it on in there. Push. <laughs> Just don't push down in your hand. It's going to go like that. Okay. Take it all the way up. Yeah, all right, now lay him down on his head. Take the knife, put it underneath the gill, and cut it uh, under, screw it under, yeah, do it like this. Go, go underneath the gill, just like that. Now, just cut his head off right there, but wait a minute, get this out from the deep there. Okay. Hold, that with, hold it with your hand. There you go. Okay, now grab him just like you had him all ago. Let me get on the other side of you. Let me get over here. You move over. Okay. What? All right. Put 
the knife down. Oh, just take it, grab a hold of it and pull it all out. Just, just grab your hand. Grab a hold of it. There you go. Just pull it all out. Throw it in the bucket. See there? Uh -huh. Okay, now open it up and start. Open it up. Just get the water in there. Now you see that membrane down in the bottom? That red? That's all blood. You gotta push, push off, break all that membrane out to either edge. Yeah. It's eggs. Fish eggs. Okay, now, stick your finger and thumb down in here and run it up. Start running it up and, and break that membrane and, and push that, that blood thing? out. Yep, that, that's blood. You got to see that blood? You got to get all that out of there. You got to be clean. Stick, you gotta stick. It's blue. How is that blood? It ain't. It's red. It's blue. I mean, it's blue. It's red. <laughs> it's blood.